Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the power. I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. It is 8.14 in the morning, and I just got back from the gym. And it's been a weird morning since about 6.30. It has been raining off and on, and it's now downpouring again. But I got a great workout in at Orange Theory Fitness. Burned like a thousand calories. You can see I am a soaking wet mess, but uh, yeah, it was a great workout. I hope all of you are doing absolutely fantastic. This is the first official vlog on the new vlogging camera, which is the Sony RX100 Mark V. It is supposed to be one of the best vlogging cameras out there, and we'll see how the footage turns out. Today is going to be a normal Saturday. Everyone thought I gave up bullet journaling, but that is not the case, so I'm going to walk you through my July setup in this vlog, as well as show you how I'm using three different planners right now. I know that sounds like a lot, but I think once I talk through it, like, it'll make complete sense to you. Um, and then I think we're going to the bookstore to look for two new books. Um, so if you've already read The Woman in Cabin 10, which I recommended in my favorites video for June, I'll leave it linked down below, um, you'll have two other options. I think they both sound really, really great. So I'm going to make some coffee hop on the computer, answer any YouTube comments I'm behind on, and also uh, post on the Kindness Community, which is our Facebook group that we created um, that is full of kindness and motivation for anyone trying to get back on a fitness track. Um, and it's been like one of the most motivating places for me. It's been open for a week, we're like probably pushing 300 members, and it's just an awesome community of people who have nothing but positive things to say. Um, I'll leave that link down below as well. I've just cleaned up, I have some coffee, and I just sat down to answer some YouTube comments, and to much of my surprise, we are now at 10,280 subscribers. I just, I mean, that's like 303 days almost. Um, it's crazy to me, just crazy. So let's see what some of the comments are. Ooh, Will uses Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Wash too. Oh, that stuff is so good, gang. I cannot believe you can just find it at Home Goods, which makes me think that they might be discontinuing it or that um, they had a surplus of stock. That's usually how Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods gets their things. Catherine says, love the different backgrounds. You're quite a pro now. Catherine, that is really sweet. I am far from a pro, and I'm actually really frustrated with June favorites, but I was too exhausted to refilm it. The reason why I was frustrated is because changing so many backgrounds and now that I do the camera work all manually, which is still really new to me, you have to constantly like change the lighting. And because of that, I kept looking at the viewfinder to make sure that the lighting was great because I wasn't on automatic and I wanted to make sure everything was set right and that there was kind of some consistent lighting, but the viewfinder like completely threw me off, which is not something that I've ever struggled with before. Um, so I was really irritated because I wanted to be looking at the camera, but I kept looking over. I know. I'll get better, gang. I'm just, I'm just trying to learn. I totally broke down boxes and took out my recycling when you said, what are you waiting for? Thank you for the inspiration. That is so funny because so many of you commented on the cleaning video that, like, you immediately started cleaning. All the YouTube comments are answered, every single one of them, and everything for the Kindness Community is posted. Um, some of you have trouble finding the Kindness Community. Um, that is literally 
what it is called, and then you'll see like either this banner fall into the icon or it'll just be like the blue Facebook sign. Um, we're all talking back and forth right now, like just getting motivated for the day. And Kelly just wrote, we are kindness ninjas, kicking butt and taking names. That is hysterical. Um, so I just did all the posts for this morning, um, just like to get everyone motivated. And then we often like will post like post workout pictures, like that's mine from this morning. But uh, yeah, it's just a really great community. So many people are saying like it is keeping them so motivated. Um, and we're at 272 members since Monday. So uh, it's grown really quickly and I'm excited about it. All right, my friends. I was originally just going to do a walkthrough of my planner here on this vlog very casually, but decided to do like a really formal video um, and it just went live now. Um, I'm gonna go and start running some errands in the video. I'm having all sorts of hair issues. It is what it is. <laughs> um, you'll see in the video um, how wackadoodle my hair actually got. So, I was looking everywhere for this book, and it was right in front of my face. Valerie. This is In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware, the same author as A Woman in Cabin 10, and it's supposed to be just as good. All right. I'm nervous about taking this camping, considering the title is called In a Dark Dark Wood. No one is coming to save us. This is under Sarah Jessica Parker's new imprint. I read a brief description of it. I don't think I'm gonna get this today though. See gang, this is how I find books. Like if a cover really entices me. Like I love that cover. This is the other book. The friend that recommended me to read um, The Woman in Cabin 10 just recommended The Lilac Girls. saying an independent consultant sent me something. Oh my goodness. And it is full of all sorts of goodies. So she sent me um, a shave cream from Arbonne to try. Um, an aftershave soothing lotion. An anti-aging moisturizer. Nicole, are you trying to tell me something? Uh, um a micro exfoliating cleanser, and also a eye repair cream. I am super excited. She also sent me an energy fizz stick. You dissolve it in a bottle of water. She sent me two of those. So I am totally going to be trying these and I will talk about them on my channel at some point and also leave you all of Nicole's information on in case you're interested as well of exploring the Arbonne line. She also sent me a little card, so let's see. Nicole, you also have phenomenal handwriting. Just telling you. Thank you so much for taking the time to try out the Arbonne's RE9 Advanced Skincare for Men. I truly appreciate it and cannot wait to hear what you think about it. Please check out the YouTube video before trying the skincare line. You will get all the secrets and benefits of using these amazing products from Nicole. All right, so I am going to watch this YouTube. Um, and then I'm also going to share Nicole's information about her shop online um, in case you're interested in our Bond products as well. But I will definitely be trying these out over the course of the next week or so and let you know what I think. All right. Um, 
books that I picked up. Lilac Girls. This was recommended from my friend who recommended um, The Woman in Cabin 10. It is by Martha Hall Kelly. And it says, based on a real life story of a New York socialite who championed a group of a concentration camp survivors known as the Rabbits. The lives of these three women are set on a collision course when the unthinkable happens and Keisha is sent to Ravensbrück, a notorious Nazi concentration camp for women. The stories cross continents as Caroline and Keisha strive to bring justice to those whom history has forgotten. That sounds phenomenal. And then in A Dark Dark Wood, there's no synopsis. So let me look it up real quick on Amazon so that I can share it with you. I don't know why I sang that part, but I did. And that's it. <laughs> What should be a cozy, fun-filled weekend deep in the English countryside takes a sinister turn in Ruth Ware's suspenseful, compulsive, and darkly twisted psychological thriller. An unnerving memory shatters Leonora's reserve and a haunting realization creeps in. The party is not alone in the woods. Well, that sounds terrifying and I can't wait to read it in a tent um, in the woods. Um, yeah, this is a definite. I think I'm gonna start with this one and then wrap up with Lilac Girls, and over the course of the week, I should be able to finish both of these. All right, friends, I'm going to eat some lunch, and then I will pick up with you guys a little bit later. So you don't think we could make dinner and a movie happen? Well, maybe we can do it. What if we go really, really early? I'm checking the movie theater time right now. They have a 7 p.m. Yeah. They have a 4.40 and a 7 p.m. We could eat dinner at 3. That would ensure that we were still awake for it. I'm eating lunch right now and it's 2. Um, well, you didn't wake up till 10. Steven. I'm going to go ahead and start in a dark, dark wood and I will keep you posted on what I am thinking about it. So, yeah, Stephen and I have planned to go to dinner this evening, and then we are going to go see The Beguiled, and it's around 3.30. We have dinner reservations for 5.30 because we are like an old couple, and we know we can't stay up late. And then the movie is at seven, so the next time I see you, we will be heading to dinner. Stephen and I both fell asleep, and we missed our dinner reservations, and we missed the movie. So I will not be telling you how the beguiled was. Um, instead, we are going to order some Indian food and watch The Zookeeper's Wife tonight. This is what happens when you're old. <laughs> Since <laughs> we missed our dinner reservations and the movie, I thought I would show you how I am using my planners currently. It also looks like it's going to rain again. Um, first off is my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I still carry this every day with me. I keep a graphic image notebook in it, and in it I keep notes during my meetings. So I'll take this out, jot down notes. A lot of times I have to transfer it into a planner, but I find the more I write something, the more I remember it as well. I will also often like write my talking points for a video in here, um, just so I can keep them clear. It's just kind of like my brain dump spot. Um, I love it that way, and then I just color code it. Um, I have one colored pen I use for work stuff, one colored pen I use for like YouTube and my life things. So that's how I use this. The next planner is the 52 week happiness planner. And I'm waiting to start this until Monday because that's when it begins. But I've gone ahead and done all the exercises prior to this. But I thought I wanted to start them around the same time as I started the start planner that has the beginning of July. Um, so yeah, this I don't carry with me. This stays at home and this is replacing like my daily journaling um, because I find that it will fit everything that I need or it will be replacing my daily journaling because it has everything that I typically would journal anyway. Next I have my bullet journal. This I do carry with me every single day because in it is my at a glance calendar, my YouTube idea, 
Instagram stuff, all of my trackers, all my gratitude stuff, and all my other collections that I use for the month. And I love having them in a separate location. Would you like to tell them why we're not going to the movie? Because or why we're not going to dinner? Because you ruined it. Because you did not wake me up. Please. So now we're getting Indian and watching The Zookeeper's Wife. Bubba, how does that sound? Bubby, how does that sound to you? He can't eat Indian. He loves Indian. It's too spicy. And then lastly, you guys, I have the Start Planner, which this is my favorite planner, I think, of all time, and I haven't even started using it yet because it started um, actually today. And I've done all the goal setting pages. The only thing I haven't done in here is the vision board because I want to be thoughtful about it and make sure it's like really exactly what I want because it'll be in there the whole year. But um, yeah, I will start this on Monday as well. Um, and I'm really excited. I have it all filled out, my whole calendar, my whole schedule. But yeah, so those are the four planners that I currently, well, I guess not planners, this is more of a notebook. This is more of a journal. And then these would be my two legit planners that I still have. Steven is feeding Bubba's and yeah, this night took a turn for the worst. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Is it dinner time? All right, friends, so we have some Indian and are going to watch The Zookeeper's Wife and I'm going to end this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind, kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.